And welcome back to Leisure Suit Larry here on Game of Travis. I think this is probably going to be the final episode because uh, there's not much left to do here. All right, so I just to spare you guys, what I have done is I've played ahead, I've got my money back and then some, corrected all the stupid ass mistakes I've made, and we're going to finish this. So with that being said, let's just uh, walk out of this place. I am done here. I freed myself from that woman who I married. She tied me up and then I got the ribbon, blah, blah, blah. You guys seen what happened. So what we need to do now is we need to get back to Lefty's Bar because we left something, um, um, left something undone there. So you'll see what I mean here in just a moment. Let's get it right into this uh, taxi. Uh, here we go. Get inside. And let's see where to, buddy. Yeah, I do believe we are going back to lefties. Alright, so I'm going to select my wallet because I'm going to... Oop, no, 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 no. We don't need the knife. We're not going to knife the, t the taxi driver. That would be kind of cool. I can take all the money and get out of there. But uh, I'm sure the police would get involved, you know. Larry would end up in jail for murder. And, you know, that we, we don't want to finish a game like that, do we? No, no. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Heather's in the back there, doing her uh, her thing. All right, pay the cabbie. Let's get out of here. Yeah. All right, let's just walk right on in. Okay. Larry, you can open the door. It's okay. I don't need to do everything for you. All right, so let's go back through the doorway and go upstairs and meet with that nasty woman. Jeez. You rap loudly on the Nahai Nahai on the door. Okay, yeah. What's the password? Alright, just a moment. We know what the password is. I can't believe I have to give it again. Here we are. That da, 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 da. mouse is acting up on me. I think I need to change the batteries in my mouse. Anyways, the password is can sent me. Come in. We're going in. Okay, the pimp is still quite fascinated with the uh the adult entertainment that is on the television set. So, all right, going up the steps now. All right, there is that nasty, nasty woman. Who knows what is crawling over that? All that hair is just, yeah. Until now, you were unsure of how a professional would look. Now you know. You were happier before. All right. All right, so here's what we need to do. Get the lover. <laughs> he certainly seems to enjoy that gum. She certainly enjoys it. All right, so let's use the thingy on him. All right. Let's, oh, right. I forgot I have to I have to get naked. All right. Come on. There you go. Now let's put this on. Yep, this would be a perfect time. Your Surgeon General is proud. Alright. You already are wearing your lover. Okay. Fine. Let's get on to it. There we go. <laughs> so. Alright. So he. Ooh. We're switching positions. That's nice. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a bouncy bouncy here. Hmm. Must be really great. Wish I could see what it was. What's going on? Alright. Are we about done? And lay the rest of the dominant position. There we go. Getting naked. Or unnaked, I should say. And boom. Cool. Although successful, you feel less than satisfied. Technically speaking, you're no longer a virgin, but for some reason, the thrill just wasn't there. You vow to continue your quest until you please your heart, not just your other organs. It's a good thing you were wearing that raincoat, or your raincoat. Uh, Alright, so let's just go out the window, and here we go. I don't want to mess with her anymore, we're done, because I want to get out of this game. Alright. Climb out the window, Larry. There's a good boy. Now, we there is something over here. We can't quite tell what it is. 
There may be something in the east window, but from here, you're not sure. All right, so what we need to do next, we need to grab the ribbon from before and use it. You carefully tie the ribbon from your nuptial bed around your waist. Okay, and then, okay, you already tied up, and then we want to also make sure that, okay, because we got to tie it onto something, because we got to get what's in that window. So, you carefully tie the ribbon from your nuptial bed around the railing. All right, so that's done. So, we're going to try to reach for that. With a coy pink ribbon rather insecurely holding you to the railing, you can reach all the way over to the window. Now, of all times, you notice the window's locked. Not to worry, we have a hammer. So let's go ahead and give it to Larry, and we're just gonna smash it. Suddenly, you smash the window with your left-handed hammer in your right hand. Your fears were unfounded. It seems to work either way. Your fortune as a second-story man now seems quite plausible. All right, and now we're going to swipe it. You got them, but what in the heck are they? Well, let's just get back over here. So Larry, just climb back on this side. Good boy. Phew, you're glad to be back to the relative safety of the fire escape. But what did we grab? Let's take a look. Even though a portion of the label is missing, you can still make out the letters Nish and Flu. Okay. I know what it is, but in case you guys don't know, I'm not going to spoil it for you. All right, so we're done here. Now, let's see. We need to untie the rope. Uh, maybe we can just cut it off. Let me see here. No, 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 that's a hammer. We don't want the hammer. Let's just take the knife because we're, we're not needing the... Uh, this need, Oh, I don't know. Hang on. There's nothing to do here. Can I walk this direction? Just fall right through? Yeah. Okay, he just stuffs it, and let's just walk through here. Now you know where old elephants go to die. Your mouth. Oh, right. <laughs> and do the breath spray. Cute. All right. Now, I do think we need to fall through here. There we go, just like before. Hey, where are you? Obviously. After careful analysis of your surroundings, you conclude you are at the bottom of a pile of garbage. We've been here before. Yuck. All right, so let's climb out. And let's just go to the front of the bar here. Oh, holy shit. Stop, pervert, shouts the cop. I wonder who he's yelling at, you think. Caught you, pervert, the cop shouts. Why don't people... We don't like people exposing themselves around this town, especially wearing one of those. What's he talking about? Glancing down, you realize he was talking about your face flushes. What? Next time, if you insist on wearing your lover in public, oh, you might at least insist. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so... I think what I need to do is, oh, he needs to, right, okay. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so I went ahead and I've taken off the lubber. Good idea, you carefully remove your lubber and dispose of it in a way that would not be described here. All right, now, I had to speed it up just a little bit, so let's put that back down there and keep playing, there we go. All right, out the window we go. Okay. I guess it just makes sense because, guys, if you're going to be uh, banging women and you're using a lubber, which is always recommended, make sure you take it off before you go other places because, you know, you might be stopped by a cop along the way and that would not be good. All right, that being said, let's go and grab that ribbon. Let's grab, you know, let's put it on Larry and, okay strapped in and let's put it on the railing all right now let's just grab this thing Whee! all right the windows locked grab the hammer yeah okay smash it and now we just reach for 
this stuff here. Woohoo. All right, now let's get back over here so that way he doesn't fall to his death. Because that would just suck balls. Phew, he's glad to be making it relatively safe. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, come on. Let's go. Let's fall into the dumpster. Come on. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get you out of there. Blah, blah, blah. He was a pile of garbage, and uh, he probably smells like it, too. Yuck. Let's get out of here, and we're going to go back to... Let's see here. Let's keep walking. There you go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hail a taxi. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to the casino because there is a pl um, one of the floors we have not explored yet, and that's at the very top. So we're going to head back over there, and like I said, we're near the completion of the game. We've done everything so far, so we just need to go back because, uh, well, spoilers. Yes, I've played this game, and there's a couple things I might have forgotten along the way, but you know what? It all comes back to me. All right, $20, or $21, woohoo. Gonna go ahead and grab, no, 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 not the hammer. Damn it, no, the wallet, there you go. Pay the man, and then we exit. All right, just in case, I'm gonna give my mouth a bit of a spritz. There we go, nice. All right, now we have to walk in here. All the way to the back. Now I'm sure we can, let's just, we haven't gone in here yet, so let's just check the cabaret. We haven't done this yet. All right, come on, all the way in. All right. Upon a closer examination, you discover these dancers may not be the girls you thought they were. Right! Okay, that's enough of that, so let's just uh, get the heck out of here. I mean, from afar, they look fantabulous, but I'm sure upon closer inspection, uh, one of them has a third leg. Alright, let's just get into the elevator. Go right to the very top, which is floor eight. This could take just a little bit of time, so be patient. Can you imagine if you got into a spiral elevator like this, and the way it's going round and round, I would be vomiting around the third floor. Because, oh my gosh, I'd be so sick. Ooh, all right. Let's go over here and just talk to this beautiful lady. Strangers in the night. Da 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 dee da da. How, how you love music. All right, come on. No, oh, come on. Get out. Get over here. Ugh. I seriously have to have you walk over here to talk to a, someone. All right. Let's see. Just gab at her. She might listen to you if you can establish eye contact. All right, of course. Well, here, eye contact. Woo! The thing's covering up what's supposed to be covered up. Nice. All right. So, her lips are moist and inviting, but then you also felt that way about Mr. Bergman, your junior high school math instructor. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's scab at her. Hiya, baby. I think I loves ya. May I help you in some way, sir? She responds in a pleasant but business-like voice. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer? <laughs> you offer. Say, Larry, she says with a smile. Is that a roll of dimes in your pocket? Or are you just glad to see me? <laughs> Ooh, damn. Alright. Hey, sweetheart. What's your sign, you ask her? Exit, she replies. Try using it. Okay, what's your name, beautiful? You ask. Faith, she replies. Hmm, unusual name. Well, get it, you have to understand, this is like the early 90s, late 80s. You know, maybe it is an unusual name at that time. Who knows? All right. I'm only in town for one night, you try again. How about we get together when you're off duty? She smiles and says, Oh, I could never be unfaithful to my boyfriend. Yeah, they all have boyfriends, don't they? 
Larry, it seems this one's going to require outside assistance. That's when we reach for these things. And go ahead and let's just give them to her. Faith only gives the bottle of Spanish fly a quick glance before you, before saying, Boy, thanks. How did you know I love this stuff? She tosses back a few pills, then a few more, finally gulping down the whole bottle. Her breathing becomes faster and faster. She begins to pant. And her green eyes are just a flutter right here. She's really getting turned on. Looks like tonight's your lucky night, Larry. Okay. I'm out of here, cries Faith. I've got to get home to my boyfriend before this stuff wears off. And whoa, she takes off like a rocket. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy, she shouts from across the hotel. We'll do it once for you. Twisting her key in the lock, she disappears down the unmarked employee staircase. Sorry, Larry. It appears Faith is true to her name. All right. So let's just uh, let's go back here behind the counter. I want to take a look at some stuff. No. Let's just go over here. All right. Now let's take a look. Now that you are no longer staring at Faith's ample weapons, you notice an unlabeled button on her desk. Let's push it. The penthouse elevator doors glide open. Hmm, all right, I'm digging it. Oh, oh, where are we going now, Larry? Wow, look at this place. Okay, I, wow. <laughs> Hey, what's over here? Be careful that you don't bump your shin on that table. Wow, this is really nice. T check out the digs here. All right. All right, well, let's just go out here. Looking nice. Ooh, hello. What have we got here? Let's take a nice look at her. A beautiful black woman relaxes in the penthouse suite's rooftop garden spa. You begin to get the feeling that your evening and lost wages may be successful after all. The hot tub looks so warm and inviting. Okay, alright, so I guess we have to talk to her. Hey gorgeous, allow me to introduce myself, you say. My name is Larry, Larry Laffer. <laughs> Hello yourself, Larry, she replies. What an attractive leisure suit. I so miss them. It's refreshing to meet a man with so much self-confidence that he's willing to flaunt the fickle trends of fashion mores and deeply travel the road of his own secure masculinity. Was she talking to you, Larry? All right. All right, can we get a look at her now? Okay. Uh, well, maybe if we just... Just walk over here just a little bit. Maybe you might get a better view. Okay. All right, you ask yourself, why am I standing here when I was invited into a spa with a woman like her? All right, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll strip. Glancing around, you notice no changing faci facilities nearby. I can't read. Oh, what the hell? I'm gonna get naked. And we're going to hi -ya! jump right on in. Wasting no time, you execute your previously only pre-visualized spa hop, landing in the warm water. Oh, does it feel good. It's nearly as stimulating as a beautiful naked woman next to you. With the warmth of the water soaking into your body, you quickly become quite relaxed. Don't fart, okay? There may be bubble. You try to get away with it. If you were in a spa and it's bubbly and all that stuff, you could get away with a fart. Just make sure it's not smelling. You know. All right. So. All right. Ooh, she is really nice looking. Wow. Just the way you like your women. Nearby and naked. She has a beautiful face and a gorgeous body. You've waited a lifetime for this moment. Okay. Let's talk to her then. Who loves you, baby? She says nothing, but her smile tells you puzzles. All right. Have you ever tried it underwater? You coyly ask. She doesn't say. All right. So we're going to get a lot of this here. So I think there's one other thing we need to do. Remember that apple we got from that vendor? <laughs> yeah, now's a good time to 
use it. So, all right. Eve, oh, her name is Eve. Eve takes your apple and with a sweet, innocent look, raises it to her mouth. She takes a small bite, then lowers her arm as a sexy smile comes across her face. She winks, then almost impersonably, she lies back slightly, sliding deeper into the warm water and chews delicately. Eve gently slips her or slips her sensuous tongue around and around the lucky apple. Wow, she must really enjoy apples if she's gonna be doing that. Okay. Tiny drops of the apple's juice glisten on her lips. She's really turning you on. You had no idea fruit fruit could be so exciting. Hey, if you think that's something, hey, women, or guys, when a woman does something with a banana, I'm just saying. Cucumbers too. I've seen them cucumbers. Anyways. After a few bites of your apple, Eve slowly slides out of the hot tub, her steamy naked body glistening in the moonlight. Barely covering her tremendous assets with a towel, she tosses you a towel, smiles, and motions for you to follow her. <laughs> All right. Say, Larry, smiles Eve, you really are glad to see me. <laughs> yeah, I guess the towel is managing to stay up on its own. All right. Ooh, man. Things are going good. All right. Ah. And he... Oh, nice climbing to bed. Very sexy move there. <laughs> Larry just climbing to bed like that. Ugh. And... Fireworks! Yay! Fireworks! Oh, good things are going on, and we can't see them. All right. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's like the 4th of July and lost wages in a penthouse bedroom. Nice. And they both lay to rest their dominant positions. Congratulations, Larry. You've done it. You successfully completed your evening and lost wages, lost your virginity, and emerged victorious. Of course, your feelings of success are short-lived, since this is where Ken Williams has to tell you about all the wonderful sequels to this game that, you're, that you now are required to play. Hey, Ken, come on out here and give him your pitch. <laughs> And got the blow up dolls there in the closet. <laughs> Ken Williams, ladies and gentlemen, of Sierra Online. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ken Williams. Body blah, blah, blah. Hi, folks. As CEO of a major software publisher, you might think I'm a. a you, I can't even get the words out. Let's try it again. Hi, folks. As CEO of a major software publisher, you might think I'm above pitching products for Al Lowe. Boy, would you be wrong. I don't want to be pushy, but in my humble opinion, I think you owe it to yourself to run out to your local 24-hour software store right now and grab yourself a copy of every chapter in the now seemingly never-ending saga of Larry, Larry Laffer, Al Lowe's lovable lounge lizard. You see, this was a remake, like I said before, of the original game, and by this time this game came out, there were sequels that have emerged. Let's continue reading. You would really enjoy Leisure Suit Larry 2, looking for love in several wrong places, in which you help Larry abandon his la uh, lizard-like ways and find true love on a breathtakingly beautiful tropical paradise called Nantunit uh, Island. In spite of the efforts of the KGB and the evil Dr. Nanuki, or No Nuki, Dr. No Nuki. <laughs> okay, I like that. Or you may prefer Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pictorials, in which you play part of the game as Larry, but also play as Passionate Patty, a woman that is everything Larry is not, and has everything Larry does not do. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but I really hope you select my favorite... 
I, I hope you select my personal favorite, Leisure Suit Larry 5, Passion and Patty does a little undercover work in which Patty truly comes into her own, helping the FBI clean up the entertainment industry while Larry must find the sexiest woman in America for his employer. That hot new syndicated television program, America's Sexiest Home Videos. Now there was a game called Leisure Suit Larry 4. Um, ah, it mentions it right here. You may wonder why I didn't mention Leisure Suit Larry 4, The Missing Floppies. Yeah, why didn't you, didn't you mention it, Ken? Me too. The problem is, we don't know where it is. You know me, if we could find it, I'd sell it. Well, enough about me. Now let's hear about you. Okay, well, uh, my name is uh, Travis, uh, 38 years old. I uh, currently reside in Fulton, Illinois. Married man, happily married man. Oh, wait, more text. Oh, wait, I almost forgot to tell you how well you played. Okay. I know there's some other points I could have accumulated in this. I could have gotten a higher score. You played okay, I guess. Let's see. On behalf of Al and Marge, Ken and Roberta, Oliver and Lisa, Mike and Laura, Bill and Patty, Bob and Janine, and Ted and Alice, thanks for playing and be sure to tell each and every one of your friends to buy their own personal copy of this game. Because it was around this time where um, you could actually uh, copy these games onto other floppies and give them to your friends. Hey, good day for you. Love you, baby. And that's the end of it. That's the end of Leisure Suit Larry. Now, with Leisure Suit Larry 4, it was called The Missing Floppies because the game was finished, but they just didn't release it. Something just, something happened to the game. It just became unreleased. I would love to actually see them um, in this day and age. They could actually remake the game from scratch. I, if they do like a Kickstarter thing, I would definitely toss my money into it because I want to see what happens in that game. It's briefly mentioned in Leisure Suit Larry um, Leisure Suit Larry um, Magna Cum Laude, which I've actually played on this channel. Um, I haven't finished it, but I think I'm going to here in the future. Um, it is briefly mentioned at the top of the game where his uh, nephew, also named Larry, he actually played and said it was one of his favorite games. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But anyways, that's it. We are done with Leisure Suit Larry. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. Now here, I, I want you guys to do me a big favor. It mean a lot to me if you did this. I want you guys to hit that subscribe button. If it's red, it means you haven't subscribed. Clicking on it means you have subscribed and also hit that bell notification. It'd be super awesome. It's over, quit, get a life. Oh, and we're back to me here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're done with that. And also hit the subscribe button. I already mentioned that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, bell notification lets you know a new video is available. Hit the thumbs, you know, give me a thumbs up. Share this video, comment down below. You know what you guys need to do, okay? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys another time, okay? Bye. <laughs>